We like action. Certainly do, especially when it's in the right direction. Bit of friction towards B. Frozen and Dexter are going to be looking to get that info on the jump peak. It's not likely Dexter goes down to a simple tap, and in fact, especially not now. The nade looks well placed and softens him up. Frozen needs to get a couple of taps here, and Bit is the first victim. Big catch from him. Frozen, a lot of opponents crossing into the site now, and he's not been able to find anything to report. Instead, they'll have to play for the retake. Beamer's locked out. Rop's very late in his app's flank, and yikes. Frozen's catching bullets left and right. The boost will be effective. You can see Perfecto is pre-aiming it, and Boomish is closing this gap now. But Boomish should be set for a double. Just the one. Acor does well to claw it back into contention. The flank is now becoming relevant. Rop should have simple dead to rights from this bench position. And he does. Leaving Electronic and Perfecto, but the time's starting to become a factor here. If they could just delay, find the frags. The kit's there, the kit's there. And they got time. Oh, wait, he's gone past the kit. They got time. Oh, okay. All right. Beamus just wanting to Eesh. wait the extra five seconds. Yeah, and that interview with Beamus was, was relatively interesting as well. You can see how close they're cutting it. But he was just, uh, I mean, you know, he, of course he's going to be more aware of his own for shortcomings, mm. uh, as you would. But in that interview, just referencing that, yeah, inexperience. I mean, the fact that it's his first LAN, Chad, and it was IEM Cologne. You know, like, it's kind of, that's a whole new generation of player when your first LAN is something like IEM Cologne and not a BYOC in some field somewhere. Yeah, you're not doing it uh, the old school way. And I guess that is nature of the times. It but, is. Uh, yeah, look, it, it's going to be curious to see because this is a very young roster. We always talk about Rops being the most experienced member at the, the ripe old age of 21. That uh, is mad, isn't it? Yeah, so look, Dexter, I think, is, is the oldest in the team, but he definitely doesn't have anywhere near as much international experience as somebody like a Robs. Simple's been given this AK-47, by the way, for round number two, and just taking their time. The Simple Show. It's one that's always worth getting a ticket to. Uh, it's one of the more consistent Broadway productions we have in Counter-Strike. Yeah, they do a matinee, an evening, yeah. every day of the week. And it's always good. Let's see if The Simple Show delivers in its first appearance. Of course it bloody well does, and it looks like Rops is his next victim. Isolated and eliminated. Mouseport's not losing us another second round after converting the pistol. Dexter extends play, Acor contending with a lot on that jungle push. Nade is destined for simple, and down goes the hero, AK. Maybe there is more to be played with here. Boomich already deep into CT. Dexter advancing with another nice great nade. nade. Two members of Na'Vi catching them to their death and demise. Now they're worried about Palace, but it's actually Boomich and Perfecto standing strong on the site, and it seems to have secured the round time. Just a little too sensitive. Vaquil's going to give it a good go. He's going to give it a good go. Time running out. Options slim, and look at the way they're playing with him. Taking contact, taking it in turn, whittling away all the seconds that remained on that clock, and they've won it through positioning alone. Acor, not sure he's going to get away with that. Boomich makes it as costly as possible, and three frags out of the leader as well. Na'Vi bite back with a big revengeance. Uh, bite back with a vengeance. Yeah, this is a, a huge round to win, and this is almost similar... Well, it's exactly how we started in Ancient, right? Mouse was on the T side, however. They won the pistol, and then they immediately lost the force by. So, uh, Yanko was just talking about during the death segment, in the way that Na'Vi are playing, it, it looks like they, they know that they're the better team, right? Just with some of the ways that they're approaching these situations. Uh, and I think if they're just able to go into these rounds and Simple does what Simple does, you know, all the other pieces are falling into place now. So we will see the force buy back from Mouse. It's not a complete investment. Acor with a little bit more, saving for that AWP. Dexter has some util. Uh, I guess it really only comes into play if they manage to make it towards his bomb site or he dispels them elsewhere. But the stack is currently at that B bomb site. Acor, Frozen, and Dexter. On the other side of things is Rops and B Mass as mid control is being worked on by Navi. Electronic and Perfecto are on the extremities, and well, that's the lay of the land for the first 50 seconds. And returning. Notice how they don't have to walk, Chad, when they get to T-spawn? Yeah, there's no water there, Alex. Yeah, so it's not like, you know, Dexter at B-Apps is going to hear them. What a luxury. 50 seconds as they return to the A site, and they're going to use Bit and Boomich as a little bit of a late pincer. I don't fancy Bemis' chances. It's down to his aim here, and as he's clearing, Simple's just perfectly found the opener that they were looking for. Rops versus an entire Na'Vi. Yeah, 
Yeah, ends as you would expect. Save. Hold, hold on, maybe don't save. Maybe die. Because uh, Boomage, with that Famous, might consider having a look for these last two members. If you can completely remove any of these four sport weapons, it's going to make the next round even easier. It's not like it's going to be the hardest to convert for round number four, coming up in roughly 35 seconds time. But Boomage, well, he doesn't want to let them hold on to these Deagles. Silently up through the B apartments. Frozen on the box is likely to survive, but Dexter, he could be in hot water here. And Boomich does lose his head. So instead, it is a FAMAS now in play for the CTs. Dexter might want to drop his util if he feels the pressure is continuing, but it doesn't look like Navi are going anywhere close, just drawing the line at Kitchen. Yeah, it's just a FAMAS. It's not the end of the world here. It's still not a fantastic thing to turn on over, but as far as things go... This was Navi's conversion of that initially, and then, of course, that's Hero AK on Simple, translating and converting into their second round fours. This one's fallen apart for them and saving what little they can. Two preserved rifles or, or saves. It's going to be a Deagle and a Famas. Hmm throw their bodies towards A, I suppose, and I'm sure Na'Vi will just give this a little bit more patience. Yeah, I think the thing is, with the way that Na'Vi are approaching the start of these rounds, it doesn't feel like they're going to fall into these traps. Bit is actually getting a little bit horny for it and boosted over the top. He goes down, so that's a great start. Here we go, Mouse. Yeah, that is certainly something around the smoke. Robs might try and find a gap here to exploit and simple looking very quick. Perfecto's caught a ramp progress and already slipping through that CT Deagle. Hard for Frozen to hit. The shots are very dynamic and mobile, simple. A lurky smoke for Dexter to hope to claw back something with this fan mask. Just on the edge of it was electronic, but that's the end of that. Rops, not even again, a chance as he takes a glance towards Boomich. And we'll call it three. Okay, well, now we get the AWP coming out for Acor, I would imagine. There you go, see it getting purchased on in. Going to be a little bit light on you too. I only see one Molotov purchase so far, and I'm not sure how many more are going to be coming after that. That was a cheeky little boost over the triple box there. All right, so yeah, let's let's take stock. Let's take inventory right now for a moment. It is uh, three Molotovs and well, four smokes in total. So it's going to be a rough one here for Mouse. And bit again, very stubborn taking a lot of ramp space early, and it does put Bemis on a bit of an island. Good, good God, he's got so many players about to converge on his site. The flash is good, catching both Rops and Bemis, and just like that, three bodies drop. Something, an AK upgrade maybe at the short end, maybe more if Rops can challenge out from CT. He's already looking to maneuver that way. And Simple being very low HP with his knife out currently, so a rare opportunity has presented itself. Simple's okay. been caught out. No Kits, tip for this. not present, you're right. And Perfecto in a prime position to just play the bomb. Is it not planted for him? It's it default, like default plant, Yeah, ah. so this is really going to be on bit. Oh, clinical. Perfecto eliminates the threat. And Nice clear from Rops. He's holding it. Perfecto's going to have to close the gap. Oh, baits him in. Oh, Perfecto, why are you so wise? He done with the time. How did he know? The time alone. Oh. I, I guess maybe bit there when he goes down to Rops is calling if he had a kit or not. You'd have to have some bloody keen eyes to do that. But bomb goes off. Round for Na'Vi. And it just felt too easy. It only got interesting at the end there because simple overextended, right? I think he thought they were, uh, were going to save that AWP. So maybe getting a little bit eager on the hunt for a moment. Speaking of the AWP, look at that. That's how Acor lost his. He's been waiting for that mid-fight, and boom, it wins it out. Rifle the all. Yeah, I guess, I guess if Bit is super quick, that no kit, right? I, look, Who's, who has got the eyes to look at the belt? I don't know, as the kid has a 70% headshot ratio, I suppose. So, <laughs> so maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just maybe. I suppose not many people can, uh, can say they've got the same perspective as Bit. Oh, that's a, he's been really hard done by there, Beamus. The scout bullet did connect. Unfortunately, not a single one of his two clicks did. Oh, and Bits already up. <laughs> Why does this feel like a little bit of cybercrime? It's like they're being suffocated, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. And it, not necessarily voluntarily. No. Oh, I, 
the, Navi are just taking space when they want it. Yeah. And I think like the fact that they play such a slow game out the gates on these gun rounds early just to make sure that they don't get... Look, the thing is, with all the utility that you see thrown now early and you're a T, it's like, why would I risk behind a one-way? Why would I... Like, why don't I just wait? And then you have... Then it's a fair fight. Like, I, I, with them taking this kind of a pace in a lot of these scenarios, it's them just going back, all right, we've sat away from A ramp for 50 seconds. Now we're going to go back to A ramp and we're going to pretend that you could be anywhere A ramp. And they just clear everything out. Then they use their utility. And they just isolate all these fights. And then around like this, where they can, they take a couple of extra liberties. They go a bit faster. You have no room. You have no space. And then going to the next gun round, you're probably expecting this type of a pace, right? Well, likely for them to just take all the speed out of it. This is looking great for Na'Vi. Five and one. Now Sports really need to start getting in the conversation now. And there's been lots of games where we find ourselves with scoreline seven to two or, you know, eight to one, something like that. But this is the perfect call. Alex, if they just do an A execute against double orbs, Rops is screwed. Yeah, he's going to be smoked and or flashed. Pick your poison. Double orb A setup. Rops is going for a walk here. Bemis does very well into the first duel. And if they continue to push that, that's... Oh, electronic. Oh, okay. Under balcony with an orb. Here we go, yeah, Rops. Yeah, don't fancy his chances now. Frozen loses it all as well. And Rops holding dark with an orb. He doesn't want to zoom in. Dexter keeps it competitive at the very least. Rops now will have the element of surprise. And simple, not surprised <laughs> at all. Doesn't even raise an eyebrow. Hello, hello. Clears him out. Easy find. Dexter in a 1v2. It's going to be a perfecto slow bomb crawl. Simple wanting to answer any questions they may have about the threat. Oh, he knows. So he knows default for simply. If he can hold the cross, he'd need an insta-kill. Okay, Dexter, you've come to play today, it seems. 1v1 against the man himself. And simple considers the triple plant. Bomb has been planted. Dexter bides time. He's going to get peeked on. Oh, and a snappy one out of the Aussie. Woof. That's huge from Dexter. He gives Mouse Sports a 1v3 clutch. Woof. That was quick. That was tight. And the, and the shot onto Simple as well. That's an AWPA re-clearing you. You are a sitting duck to Simple. I'm very surprised to see the headshot go the way of Dexter. But we'll see that again. So it started off with a very solid defensive ramp. We haven't seen Bemis actually take one with him before. Uh, but then Na'Vi happened. And Dexter, there it is with the impact. Poor Rob. I should correct myself. A 1v2. He did get three in total. Just that catch on Boomich. Not letting him disappear. And a great final shot to secure our second. Okay, well, that's going to give Mouseports another chance. A new lease of life, perhaps. It's not going to be pretty, but it's a buy. Yeah, so right now, their buy is bolstered by that saved AWP. That's the best thing they really have to boast here. Can they hold on by their fingertips right now? Oh, they're trying an aggressive maneuver. I think Rops thinks better of it as soon as he has nothing to report initially. Back it up, chill your beans. Bomb's leaning B. I'm intrigued to see how Na'Vi shaped this one up. Oh, a spot of aggression from Mouse, but they're just losing their jewels, Chad. Yeah, Boomich has been winning a lot of fights here. So if he continues to do so, this is going to be painful. Yanko even on the desk said Electronic having form online. They may as well just write them down as the Pro League winners right now. <laughs> they're looking very good here, Na'Vi. I'm sure that boot camp helps them maintain that flow state they had in Cologne. It's just... Oh, here we go. We're going B. Yeah, and he's... Cooks. He's going to have to hide in his own smoke and just hope they don't spray him. Oh, so many bullets. So many bullets. Two in so little time. Dexter does take one with him. But Mouse Sports have been completely avoided here. Save. It has Save. to be, right? I mean, you're not losing that AWP for a 3v4 retake. Come on now. Yeah, this would be silly to go for right here. You, you, they are actually having a look. Two players coming over from Catwalk here. So... Are they? Maybe not. Okay, it looked like they were giving it a crack. Yeah. They were definitely thinking about it. There was a discussion about it, but Acor thinks better. Bimas and Rops to hold on to the Famuses. The AWP for Acor needs to start finding some impact, right? They need to either send him somewhere early to find a kill with it, or just let that loss bonus keep building until you can get rifles out, no dramas. Now, in the next round of play, speaking of loss bonus, that's going to be 2,900. So they could go for more of the same if they'd like. Can have a buy that was pretty much equivalent to, to what they just had, all things considered, because it was an MP9 and an M4. So they can drop uh, an M4 or a Famous, respectively, for both of that of VMAS and Rock for Dexter and Frozen.
So six to two, getting away from them now. Yeah, it's feeling a bit suffocating for the boys of Mouse. Like, A hasn't been convincing once, and every time Navi have come have asking questions of B, it's been a bomb plant as well. So what necessarily has been the, the bastion for the Mouse Sports defense so far? Not so good. Braving the flames there by going for the jump after the molly. Dexter now just has to play the waiting game. He's on his own on the B-bomb site here. We have two players and there we go. There's the impact with the AWP. You got to send your big gun out to find something. And he does. Bits on the rough end here within the uh, early stages of map number two. It's like Simple's playing a reaction speed game at that point when you're holding such a slither gap and the, uh, your opponent's jump peaking the slither gap. I mean, you're playing an extra hard mode. So down a man and back towards A. So they've gone, all right, we've lost somebody. We can't get the mid control. Let's just execute on towards this A site. And look how much utility they have to do so. Bemis, if he gets molotov out, he has got a smoke. We'll choose to deploy it. And Navi, it's interesting that they dumped the nades and then proceeded to just walk Palace. So they're trying to just cut noise. Bemis has got nothing to report. Boomich is walking out middle. He's a bit sus right now, a bit suspicious. And now Na'Vi aiming for a pallet explode and down they go. Bombs in dark. Five bullets, but Rops has not opted to reload because he knows and suspects the push. Boomich dinked by Rops. Can anyone finish the job? It's Acor and Acor can. A quick pair of frags to wrap it up and confirm the third. That's big from Mouse Sports on a sketchy buy. Yeah, they needed that from Acor, right? They've protected that AWP for a couple of rounds there. And now he stepped up. That is a huge three-piece for Acor. And a bit of a uh, statement because if he's able to move around with the AWP so proficiently now, might be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Simple on the other side of things. Again, Mouse Sports make this buy work. Again, a Famous in the feed. No dramas for the Na'Vi buy. AK's AWP and away we go one more time. Look at this. He is just Bloody tearing hell. through. Middle. It is just quick. Boomich has let off the leash. Yeah, and he's going. Like, he's not slowing. Bemis is rocking a hard place. Looks the wrong way. And Boomich will convert the pair. Acor in jeopardy. Now the AWP and the round is lost. How quickly it can go wrong. And this is a product of Boomich the entry fragger. Like, what are you supposed to do? You're staring at smokes. A two-man disadvantage. The bomb already ticking in favor of your adversary. You just got to sit back and take it. You know how people are going to have to have a look at Like, I don't know if Navi are just throwing the standard mid-utility here or if they're throwing something different, but they seem to be getting so much space. And it's just looking way too easy. They're just strolling through middle. How is Boomich able to get away with all that? And now they're being stripped of everything. They know where Frozen is. He's ready for the window peak and some nice crispy aim to convert. More to find if he wants to hold on to this. And the AWP picked up again. So, Haycourt, his teammates are really looking out for him in this one. Seven to three. But yeah, Rop's going down as that opening kill. Boom, it's just throwing bullets down that connector smoke. Uh, you're right. I think we should put Na'Vi's bit utility into the microscope a little bit. Like, the thing is, it can't... I don't know if it's anything crazy or not, because he's just launching on down. He's just able to take so much space quickly. Oh, he's got, he's got one of those desks that have a, an extra shelf for the monitors. You see that? Mm, an elevated desk, an elevated monitor. That's why maybe he turns up at LAN and he didn't have the books to put the monitor that, at the a higher full, level. That's, that's when you have like the pull-out tray. Yeah. yeah. That's when you know you're on like mum and dad's office But setup. that's also how you know your transition to LAN is going to suck. Yeah, yeah. I remember yeah, yeah. my first, the desk I did before my first LAN was one of the ones with a cutout. Okay. So I was used to kind of being inside my sure. desk. And I got to the LAN with the wobbly LAN tables with the like chipboard and bumps yeah. on... Oh. My first mouse pad was one of those ones with like the gel thing yeah, in it and you yeah. rest your wrist on it. Yeah, Just I remember those. Like, <laughs> the ergonomic. Yeah, the size of a small plate. Anti-RSI. I yeah. had one of them as well for the keyboard. Ended up just slapping people with it. <laughs> okay, Beamers, I think they might have just slipped the net. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, horrible. A nasty opening death for Beamers and Rops already brought down so low. Navi can commit to this. I don't know whether they will, though. Yeah, I don't have to. Like, look, look at this. At the bit. Yeah. <laughs> if he just strolls into B right now, hello, lads. Uh, I've walked into B. The bomb site's clear. Come on back. Let's have a party. I can't believe they're sticking around when Bit's already talking about how open B is. They want to make it convincing. 
They're hearing scopes on Tetris. Bit is truly fully cleared B. Do you want to go around the world or what? Well, they should wait for him at least, right? If if they're going to allow him to do this, Rops wait. Is holding this. And he's got the first. So Na'Vi, their pause on A has not quite net netted them the reward they were hoping for, but we're left with a fruity 22nd mid-round here. They have to plant open. Oh, late round, I should say. Yeah, they're going for an open plant, and it's up to Electronics' quick taps against potentially two of them. And he's made it look easy. Acor and Rops. And the health of Acor implies he has to use the M4. And, I mean, simple... Not going to miss those, and it leaves Acor in a rather dire straight where you probably want to save the AWP. But if we get the chance. Won't even try to, yeah. <laughs> Simple's going to take it from him and call it eight. Na'Vi win out their T-half on their map pick. This is some great opening stuff from Boomich. He's looking like he has a clear plan or at least a clear idea of what he wants to do in these rounds and just tearing them apart. There's another opener. You're talking about Boomich, the entry fragger. Got a bit, about, a bit of naphne about him here today. Yeah. But around that, uh, yeah, they, they could have won in two ways, right? They could have let Bit go around the world and kill them in the back, or they could have gone all the way back to the B-bombs. Fun to be had in round 12, Chad. No, this one here, unless we get a couple of bangers. RV are looking absolutely clinical, and there's another Boomage entry, just continuing to barrel down middle. A response from Frozen. He needs more than just one. He's long gone. Now, you're looking for Frozen. He's currently in Kitchen. It's Dexter that you'll be having to clear out and he they've made no secret of the app's presence and ah. he will be dropped off oh 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 the pressure it's still there straight through the smoke bemis does very well to connect what his teammates started frozen hiding and baiting his team hoping navi don't clear through i say baiting his team no one left on b but well they knew that he was here right because he got the b apartments kill so yeah. you think they'll clear it all out they will frozen gets another kill Bemis would need a scorcher oh, oh. onto Electronic, and AK has found its way into his hands, and with the full 30 bullets, it doesn't matter, because Simple exists. And he makes it nine. All right, well, a nine-six half still attainable for Mouse Sports, and they will have everything they could possibly desire for this one. It's interesting that I don't see a single kit in their full buy here, prioritizing utility and orbs. I guess, to be fair to them, it's more about just winning some jewels. Yeah, if they can stop them from get the bomb down, then maybe that'd be a little bit better here because so far they're on the receiving end of all these fights. Boomich has been great in terms of the openings. Let's see if he can do it again. Yeah. They're playing nobody middle. There's so much space. Boomich and Bit can do whatever they want. The closest person to middle is Dexter, and he's just rotating through market right now. So they've gone the uh, early warning system right there by not breaking the vent. And that means if they do boost window... Na'Vi will not be able to flank on through without making a sound cue. But they're not being pushed at all in middle. There's not a single piece of aggression here. Now, what does that imply? Well, with a double op CT setup, we have Rops over towards ticket and too close A. I think the idea of people being close A if nobody's contesting middle makes sense, right? So Navi should be aware of this. And I think they're trying to waterfall through Palace. 50 seconds. Boomich and Bit will be up through Connector. Simple, I suppose, will come in late as well. The off angle from Bemis could catch them. Here he comes, just as Bemis engages. He's locked out, isolated, wasn't expecting a second. Frozen, though, just kept to one. Dexter has to alert them to his presence. They line up for him, though. And so Mousebots, they have a man advantage, and that bomb needs to go down. Still yet to be deployed. A smoke to cover off a connector side plan. Simple to babysit, needs to hit the flick. He's not ready for it, and a miss from Rocks means Simple's now in hot pursuit. That missing kit, Chad, becomes more of a problem now. Dexter again with more impact. Perfecto handed a 1v3 and already with the first and the second Perfecto. This is perfect and there's no kit. It's an AWP. He doesn't know it. But Acor with so much to do. A fake plan. He's holding it to perfection. Perfecto is right. Damn. He gets a 1v3 and shatters the hopes and dreams of Mouse. Beautiful. That was just beautiful. Everything he did there The angle great. management, the quickest of trades. His positioning for that first so as to immediately leap onto the second. That goes from a 1v3.
Yeah, and his and his friend, uh, Mr. Slave. Ah, uh, yes. What was his name? Literally forgotten his name. Kane. Boomich with 18 already in his bag. I reckon you've got at least another two Just here. Look at all this space. Look at this. <laughs> look, at, look at this. Okay, rap drops. Deals with the rap. Okay, maybe we've got a little more to be said about this one. It was supposed to be a non-factor. Some armored digs, saving up their schmeckles for the 15th. It was some nice shots. The the thing is. Oh, they're going to have to have a couple more nice shots. Whittled down, can't ah. find the frag. Bit survives. Simple gets another. Ah. It's crumbling ah. again. No, no, no. Oh, no. They know where Bemis is as well. They do. He was just triple. take the bomb B. And they are. See, it's simple. If he just... Oh, he's going to play this perfectly. He knows the game better than we all do. So he's going to post up on this angle until Perfecto starts getting a wriggle on into B. And then Simple's responsible for that kitchen rotate as well. Yeah, this is not going to be easy for BMAS. And, and they were bangers of shots, those two openings. They were mm. bangers of shots. But now nah, V, it just comes their way. Oh, oh BMAS, you want a gun, don't you? We know you want a gun. You got a gun. And he can hear you. He knows exactly where you are. Perfecto's a little too late on his flank. Don't knife him, Simple, please. Just kill him. <gasps> Bemis. Okay. Going for something here. And he's already punished Simple with a little bit of a whiff shot. He knows where you are. The trajectory was there. Confirms the fake. Bit of a time sensitive mission as he pulls him off the bomb twice. He's played a great little round here. Bemis just doesn't have the time. That's two clutches from Perfecto. Back to back for 11. Na'Vi are sprinting to finish Mirage. Five rounds is all that separates them. We're not even done with our first half. It's time for round 15. Map two, game two. And if you're wondering what you've got to look forward to after this series, you get to see a little bit more out of EG versus FaZe. Yeah, and yesterday EG got uh, dismantled by Big, I think. It wasn't even really that much of an affair of the uh, bottom five players of the group. Jackinho was the lowest, and then the uh, four members of EG were above him. Breeze was the only player for EG to really stand out yesterday. So let's see if Cirque and Coke and what gun did Simple just have? It looked like a Krieg. Boomich. Boomich, the entry fragger meets drops his orb up close and personal. Extinguished, so they know exactly where Bemis is. And this is a 3v5. It should be the best shot we've seen out of Mouse Sports to convert. Should being the operative word. Dexter gone. Perfecto dead, but Electronic's still sticking around. So as this stuff fades and as the CTs demand more info, ouch. A nade onto Electron. There's no way they let this one slip. There's no way. Okay, well, it wasn't an M... Uh, it, sorry, it wasn't a Krieg. I think it was an, either a Negev or an M2496. Ah. <laughs> Oops. Um, oh! Acor oh. has <laughs> shot rocks. <laughs> <right. laughs> All cool. Yes. Let's get this one started with... Uh, actually, well, then they're going to get very little contact on this AXX. Yeah, nobody home whatsoever. Boomin will be from stairs. He's the only one to contribute here. Smoke's in the air. Info's found, and away they go. 1x bed odds not favouring Mouse at all here today. Oh, Simple's actually already taken one as well on the cross. They want to pressure and take that jungle control. Perfecto's in a bit of a position to voice some concern. They have flashes on Look Perfecto at here. Look at Electronic's ramp flank already. Like, Simple Electronic can be taking fights at the same time. Boomage in window as well, so all of that control he's done very well to avoid. Contact and Simple combines nicely. Oh, with his head on a swivel, looking for the ace already. Simple gets all of the heavy lifting done and turns around for his fourth. Mm -mm. Tasty stuff there. Now, quickly want to get this one out there for the uh, the vampires, the sharks in the water, uh, whatever else we can, we can use. <laughs> They've already had their taste of drama. They had their fix. They want more. Yeah, so Reddit, are you listening? Yeah. The nice little screenshot that you posted on the lines with the TV in the background behind the Boomich POV. That television or that screen is Blade, the coach's point of view. It is not the stream. I've already checked it with League Ops. No. All right? It's been verified. It's been checked. So calm down. Hold your horses. Put the pitchforks away. I know we're very accustomed to throwing shade and pitchforks, but... Get him! Get him, Alex! Second boy! Get him now! Oh, my God. That feels... I'd, I'd go to war for you, Chad. 
Like, you know that whole die scene I was telling you about? Death! The witch? Oh, yeah, yeah. Death! Yeah. As they gallop over the hills yeah. into their impending doom. I I'd ride. Just quickly, this won't be cut in the Twitch clip of what they just take there, but uh, that was in jest, guys. Don't worry about it. It's all good. I literally have checked it. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. But the, the over-dramatization, that was that was for, for the fun. That was for the entertainment value. Well, there's okay? not much more entertainment value from this one, I reckon. Yeah, this should be done quick. And that's why I was trying to have some fun with it. But unfortunately, the cast of Curse is real, Chad, so call this 13. 13. No, no, this 13, is... 13, 13. I've been to the future. I've come back. I reckon... And hoverboards still aren't real. They're not? No. Did Valorant kill Counter-Strike? I didn't check, actually. <laughs> I didn't have a look? No, <laughs> I didn't check. Well, the game was still going, so yeah. I guess we're good. Phew. Could you imagine going to the future and coming back with a betting book of history of all things that happened? <laughs> I mean, that's... What I'm a plot line. It is a plot what line. What a plot line. We've all considered it. But also, I think it's so funny that how through the fiction universe, like, there's become multiple rules to this fictitious travel of time. Mm. Like people oh, keep, that's right. You know, yeah. like everyone has to, like you start really hitting all these like faults in the mm. road of like how it, things would work and how it would impact you. What if you met yourself? That's the, well, that's that's the biggest question, right? That's one of right? the questions, exactly. isn't it? Do you just it, it spontaneously combust? Yeah, is it you visiting you? Like, like yeah, when, let's like, not even. Like, isn't Philip J. Fry his own father or something? Like, he, I'm pretty sure his mum was flirting with him when he went back in time and it got a bit fruity. Futurama. One of the many. Simpsons, uh, not spin-off. No, it's a Matt Groening produ production, I think. Yeah, uh, what, what would be a... a not in, it's not even inspired, it's just similar animation elk. There you are, told you, 13, 13, uh, 13, sorry, 14, 13. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 14, 13. Yeah, no, I had gone, Ah, I had yeah, so now they're going to go back, yeah, they're going to have that uh, big so spread much cash, of nine he's rounds. He's going to smash him with the T-side. Oh. Yeah, he's going to do that. He got, uh, what was it, five kills in the first half. Yeah, no, they're going to run boost to Mount Mid. He's going to no-scope simple. Yep. Speaking of the devil, that's a nice nade right onto the noggin of Dexter. And Bit hasn't really had to be doing much, actually, at this point. He's just here for the ride. He's just, yeah, he's just been Got his speed up. in. 21 frags apiece for Semple and Boomich, your Mirage superstars. And he's going for a naughty one here. They've jumped straight past him. Simple. He's got two backs turned and he's ready to <laughs> strike. There's three members. Surely not Acor as well. <laughs> oh, surely not. Simple just to absolutely throw salt into the mouse sports wound. They're looking the wrong way. And he pants the bomb carrier. Your AWPA gone. Rops arrives at least before things get too awkward. And now instead, it's a mouse sports advantage. It might even be a mouse sports round. Boomich caught as well. They have to win this one. They will. How can you lose this one? There's no way. Just yeah. your boy electronic. If they go away, that is where I, I could see them falling into some problems. However, Perfecto is being quite clutch. Frozen executes, and now they know B is open. Electronic, well, he's an A holder. Let's uh, skedaddle our way over towards the B bomb site. Let's get the objective started, and let's see if we can save an AWP for our boy A Corp. Stuff from Frozen there. So 14 13, you said. That's the right. Okay. There we go. I said I've been to the year 3000. Is that Black Eyed Peas? Black Eyed Peas? That's no, obviously Busted. Busted came and then McFly came. I know because I had a sister two years younger than me. Okay. So I don't had, know either of The those. car was chock a block full of boy bands. All right. Yeah, Busted initially. I think that was Busted. My sister was just into Spice Girls. Ah, okay. Very yeah. retro. Yeah. See, my mum was into Spice Girls. I'm not that old. Jesus. <laughs> Well, they have taken an eco here, and Mouse Sports are working on their six. Now, as Alex has told you, the scoreline will be 14 to 13 at some point in the near future. Yeah, you can take a break if you want, come back for the scoreline, but it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. I'd recommend sticking around to see how it happens. Okay. Yeah. Good clutches in there? or Oh, a good bit of fun. It's actually like a bit of a redemption arc for some of the individuals of Mouse. It gets pretty hype. All right. Um, Simple has a bit of a whiff. Oh. Watch out for that one. All right. Just one? Just one. Just one. Yeah. He only gets one. One a year. Yeah, this isn't it, so... Ooh, we didn't even fire, so technically... It doesn't count. Not a whiff. Yeah. Yeah, if he shot and he missed... All 
All right, Bob getting planted here over towards A. I, I don't feel like there's too much damage that can be done with the two USBs and the one Deagle. Yeah, let's see how blind Bit is. Oh, he actually turned it because he's a gangster. All right, not getting anything out of this here, are they? Now, the loss bonus going into the next round is 1,900. And uh, because they've taken the eco right now, Navi should have just enough to get themselves a purchase going here. Bit can drop Simple and AWP. Oh, actually, that's exactly what he's going to do. Simple will give him an M4 in exchange, Electronic and Boomage into the Famuses. And yeah, they've been able to make this buy work. Sure, no defuse kit. Sure, light on a couple of Molotovs. But Mousebots haven't shown anything nearly as threatening as what Na'Vi did in their first half. So let's see if Na'Vi can dispel them. Setting up for a bit of an A play here. Early with two players over towards Palace. Rops and Frozen. The Stragglers and Dexter over towards middle, selling a little bit of a fake, drawing all the attention he can. They're going to try and limp on out. Well, you can't limp past Simple. Oh, oh no. Electronic has defended middle entirely, oh, and Simple can't believe it's luck. They've just delivered the bomb into the site. And this one feels very flaccid for Hobbs. Doesn't get to do anything. Caught in the smoke. Simple with a bit of a pop-off performance for the 15th there and frozen. I mean, it would be quite the 1v5. Unfortunately, Boomich has already taken a colossal chunk out of your body. And Bit plans to finish it. All right, Na'Vi, they've got a uh, handful, I'd say. Maybe even two hands, minus the pinky, of series points. So they can really have some fun with this, you know, like a, take off the leash. Yeah, buy some, some I reckon some it's, a, it's a free day today. A free day? Yeah, that, that's, what wow. I'd, that's what I'd call. If I'm Boomich right now, I say, everybody, just go have fun. Go have fun. Go shoot ahead if you want. Wow. Yeah, no, Thanks, no, stress, no stress, no pressure. Okay. If you well, want to go for something Aggie simple, go for something Aggie. Have some fun, strafe out the window. I'm sure he's been waiting for permission. Oh boy, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> he should have extinguished that, it's a bit awkward. He was expecting it to have popped by his preemptive smoke, but instead they have mid control. Mouseport set for success, mission one. I won't say complete because the smokes are still up and Electronics still examining the periphery of them. Gives up on that. Oh, look at this short aggression here as well. It's going to be well-timed. Yeah. Oh, it is very aggressive. Bit actually just goes straight into ladder room. Now Dexter's actually on notice. As that smoke fades, under window is no longer a safe haven. It seems like Mousebots want to hit B and they're actually walking into, you'll never guess who. Simple. And his AWP, a good find for the first. He's flashed off, though, and Mouse Sports have access to the site now. I don't know if Perfecto is really going to have much more to say about this one. Good God, he gets away just about. Dexter in mid is a problem. They're both clearing for him, and Dexter could take them both here. It's a bit of a messy spray. Bomb ticking in favor of Mouse, and Bit demanded to clutch. He's playing the long game here. I think Bit's going to hold on to this AK if he can. And we'll call that seven now for Mouse. Simple only getting one kill, kind of a rare sight. The timing there is they were able to get past with the flash bang, and well, there you have it. So it's going to be a tall task for Mouse. This is a game that I don't think that they really have too much chance in. But let's just see. Don't want to give up. So if Mouse Sports, <coughs> excuse me, just going to try and make sure I have it all in front of me before I start that sentence. Uh, I, I got it off the top of my head. Go on. They're going to play, I don't know the order, but they have to play against Big, they have to play against Fnatic, and EG. And they have to play against EG. So they played the two, or actually, I don't know, I was going to say two hardest opponents first. I don't know if we can, I, the two hardest opponents from Cologne first. Yes, there you go. That's a safe one, a safe bet. But I do think the loss to FaZe, now a loss to Na'Vi, it does mean that they'll basically have given themselves zero wiggle room yes. uh, in their next three head-to-heads. Win the next three. Yeah. Or don't make it. No problem. All right. Frozen's committed while that molly is up, and oh, this is quite aggressive here. Down the A ramp, nobody home. A lot of information provided for Na'Vi now, but they need to rotate over towards B because they're jumping on in. Perfecto towards the van. Flashed off, fragged off. Bit response. Electronic oh. 2. Yeah, he's done very well with that. And Acor's Orp fills the feeds as that bomb does need to go down. They aren't in a rush necessarily. Acor's there in support, and the flank is going to be fast. Two of them through the apps. Electronic kitchen side and holding on to what he can. Electronic needs to live, just yeah. delay. 
He's working on it. So are Boomich and Simple. Bemis is the one responsible, and he's actually very low HP, so careful now. Sitting duck for the 1D, and now both of them taking fights. It's falling apart. Ekor's going to have to come up clutch. I don't Stop think the box planted for, for him. him, so he's going to have to hit the sliver, and it works out. Simple feeds him one. They're on the defuse. He's going to sit it. He's sitting a 10 seconder. No, 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 no. Acor's not having any of that, and he does save Mouseport's chances. He says play on. Lovely little clutch out of Acor there, and it was simple. It got caught out on that slither. Yeah, interesting if Simple actually went for the fight or if he just got caught in transition because if he was able to make it into the bomb site, the round is over. The yeah. round is completely over. So Acor saves them, bows them out in a big way, and we keep play at least for a couple rounds more. Na'Vi have been forced to take a save. And it's just one of these things where for them it's probably more frustrating in the sense, oh, we have to take it. Like, we, knowing that you're just this close and now you have to give up one, allow them to add an extra to the tally. And, well, they're going to push short. Woof! Flick of the wrist. Didn't need it. Dexter, the daddy of the team, will bail them out. Yeah, he may not actually be a father, but he does have to fulfill a similar role within the Mouseport squad. Bit of uh, daycare. Okay, well, no warp for simple this time round. Light on the nades. Mouse sports, they win this, they crack double digits, and they force Na'Vi into another half-by situation. So maybe it starts to get a bit interesting. It still just feels like a matter of time, but maybe it gets a little bit interesting. Time to find out together. Acor's being tested, ooh, by that simple orb. And how has he gotten away with that simple? Dry peeking in and eliminates the Orpa of Mouse sports solo mid-adventure. Ugh, slipping through this lurky smoke ramp. Sees him. Spotted out. They're committing to this, but Na'Vi are aware. And they just want to take a fight. They want to finish it right here and now. Light on nades, but not light on frags. Only Dexter remains, and Mouseports have just been completely dismantled. Na'Vi for the 2-0. And to extend their winning streak, not only victors are IM Cologne, but running with it into Group C of EPL Season 14. It's going to put them within touching distance. A win against Fnatic, the first. Albeit a close 2-0. This one, a little less so. And there you have it.